a high school friend or person you know who you've tried to find and look up years and years later. Uh, there's a guy named Noel who went to my high school who for about 10 years ago I made a very big effort to find him on the internet and lately on Facebook. I haven't been able to find him because what I wanted to do was find him and apologize to him. And let me tell you about my high school. I went to a boys prep school, Cranbrook School, kind of like modeled after the English model, very Lord of the Flies, right? There was the upper school, the high school, and then there was the lower school. And the lower school was literally in the basement, below the carpeted floors of the upperclassmen. And the whole process of this private school was to groom us, to prepare us for power, for uh, to, to lead. And uh, the thing I wanted aside, but it's relevant, is there was another one of my classmates was a guy named Mitt Romney. <laughs> Mitt Romney went to Cranbrook School. And in 1965, there's a very credible story that he participated in a bullying incident where there was a young man who had dyed his hair bleach blonde and Mitt led a group of people to pin him down and cut his hair. And when Romney was confronted by this, he said he didn't remember. Well, I want to tell you something. I have went to the school, and there was systematic bullying like that. And I can tell you, I never forgot it. And so let me tell you about Noel. Because one day in seventh grade, and remember, I'm at the bottom of the pecking list now. Seventh grade, I go into my locker in the basement. It's cavernous, dark, it smells. There are no adults around. Because they have decided to, in the Cold War language that I grew up in, to not engage us, but contain us. So we're just like down in this basement, running around like the maroon boys in Lord of the, Lord of the Flies. And so I hear shrieks from the boys' room. And I see these big eighth grader boys come barreling out and they're laughing. And I see this other boy come out named Noel. And he's drenched down, his whole shirt is drenched. And I was like, I, 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 and this is like my first month of school. A week later, I see Noel coming down the hallway toward me, but I see these eighth grade boys also coming down in the locker room. And Noel, you can see, he's trapped, he turns around, he tries to escape, but these big boys are serious. They drop their backpacks, two of them go to different ends of the hallway to stand guard, and they tackle him. And they grab him, and he tries to resist, and his glasses fly off and come land right at my feet. And I pick up his glasses and they're broken. And they pick him up and they take him into the boys' room. And so I follow him into the boys' room. And there they lift him up and suspend him. And at the moment when he's about to lose uh, it, he surrenders. And they lift him and they put his head into the toilet and they flush it. And there's an ugly gurgling sound. And then they drop him to the ground and laugh and leave. See you, Noel, you faggot. And I'm standing now in the bathroom alone with Noel. And he's kind of kneeling. And I s didn't say anything while this was going on. I just stood there. I had his glasses in my hand. And I noticed the lens was cracked. And so I handed him some paper towels so he could dry himself off. And I said, here are your glasses, Noel. And he looked at him, and he saw they were broken. And he just started to sob. He said, that's going to cost. That's going to cost. And at that moment, and years later, I wished I was a superhero. I wished I was like Spider-Man or one of those guys who like, could have broken that and stopped that from happening. But I wasn't. I didn't say a word. I didn't say, leave him alone, you bullies. I just stood there because I was a small guy just like Noel. And actually, I looked around at that moment, and it was just he and I in the bathroom. And I thought, if anybody sees me in here with him, they're going to tar target me, too. They're going to think I'm a queer guy. I better get out of here. Here are your glasses. And off I went. So Mitt Romney, if you forgot something like that, I didn't forget it. You can't be schooled for power in a school like that and forget that kind of schooling. Thank you.